my name is Devesh. welcome to the new video today we are going to demonstrate about how to create a chatbot using pre-trained NLP model if you have seen the previous video we have created and demonstrated how we can create your own fine-tuned model we have in the previous video we have used the text-to-text -text transfer transformer model and that is what we have used to demonstrate and create a chatbot so let me just quickly run and then let me demonstrate first how this chatbot is working and then we can further dip down and we can see like how we can build it okay so here is the chatbot that got instantiated so i'm going to ask some uh, questions what is the age of um, customer customer name uh, name Devesh 35 so if I'm going to put more users details right uh, so it's going to you know like read the context and provide you the information the same way is what is the address uh, of customer name customer name Devesh so let me see yeah we got uh, Kolkata and for Binay uh, it's it's going to be Bangalore and others so Odisha so so he, this is how the chatbot works so fundamentally the it it might be a very small use case so the fundamentally the architecture is look like this so the user interacts to the chatbot so the chatbot we have the pre-trained ai model and and that provides us the natural language converting to and transferring to the sequels and the sequels we have the customer data and, and, and it provide and search the customer data and look for the answer and give it back depending on this sequel we execute and get the response and then we store the context uh, and, and then we reutilize that for our further use case. This context can be a user session, a context can be a particular thread or depending on that like how we uh, design it, it's going to work. It, it, it changes depending on uh, our use case. So let, let's see and get ahead and uh, let's see how we can create it, right? So in the pre-trained model that in the last video we have used like this is our you know like uh, uh, the model the fine-tuned model if you have not seen the previous video go ahead and look at it so and and it, it's going to you know like uh, provide us the exact query that we are looking for depending on the questions and this this is what we are using it and in the data we are using the SQLite and we created uh, some customer DB and then provided some of the data we have inserted like email address and those things so that's how it works right i mean uh, and 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 we have another context data uh, the, the same database we are just storing with another uh, uh, table so that is what we are storing right so we have created mainly if we look at it right so the binding of this button whatever we have uh, provided so it, it works like it, it it binds with the send message method so if we get into the send message this is pretty straightforward so we have the pre-trained model and inference method that we are passing the message and the rest of the uh, table data data structure the column names that we are providing and that's how the wiki sql data set that we have used and then with the context of your sequ uh, I mean the uh, table uh, structure so it will provide you the um, the SQL query and uh, we are in the next like we are triggering that particular um, uh, SQL to the database and we are getting uh, the data out of it and uh, and and that that is much I mean it is pretty straightforward and I will post this video, I mean, uh, share all these, uh, you know, like uh, code content. So go ahead and get it uh, downloaded from GitHub and you can use it. 
in order to save the context what we did is we are you know like this is a very you know like uh, small use case that i would say uh, where uh, we take in the message if at all uh, we and we are uh, updating the context if a single word uh, search has been found that we are uh, assuming that it's uh, trying to use the uh, the context of the uh, message if it is single word then we are uh, fetching that context and uh, reprocessing with the existing data and then that's how uh, the data is getting uh, downloaded and this is this is pretty uh, straightforward and then uh, if if i would uh, you know like what is the what is the what is the phone number of customer name Vinay? So let's see whether it gives, yeah. So if you put some other users, then we'll get the, uh, using the context. So it, it searches that particular um, questions and it find out and give us the data output. So now that uh, what we have used it's a um, the use case can be used i mean we can put our thought process wherever we wanted to extend this to it can be extended the uh, as this is the pre-trained and offline model uh, we are not going to connect to the internet we are not going to uh, talking to either uh, other open ai apis or any other uh, open um, you know like um, model uh, which is you know like we need to pay we are not going to use it it's just the offline pre-trained model and the same this this is talking to you you providing you the sql and the same that can be leveraged when we can you have a document storage uh, the search can be a enhanced corresponding to that and it will give you the um, a corresponding output if we get into this hugging face model if we look for document search right document search so there are a lot of uh, you know like uh, document search there are also we can you know like get a lot of pre-trained model available and we can if you look at my our previous video that we have demonstrated how we can uh, 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 fine tune a particular model and then uh, question answering this is so this document question answering this is what we can use which will you know like uh, make your chatbot much more uh, it, it enhance a lot the user experience and and we need to you know like um, add multiple uh, uh, features we can add multiple features through the multiple models that we can think of and this will help a lot and and uh, thank you so much for watching this video and and please do like share and uh, and and provide your comment so that will encourage us, uh, encourage me to put more videos. Thank you so much.